uh, the planet when they go towards the playoffs. They can't seem to get past the quarterfinals these days. Uh, yeah, I, I think there's something interesting about that as well, because at the major, they looked like they could win the whole thing. And they, they met Cloud9, who was red hot. His pistol's already in a way. Shox just waits and greets Sonny at the bottom of Banana. Stick a, oh, yeah. Sorry, bud. Your gun's jump. He even baits him with a jump. Fair enough. <laughs> Makes it work. <laughs> Well, it's going to be Oscar to get one back at least. Rob takes a ton of damage, though, down to just seven. No grenades for the French side. MPK with that deagle. It's down to Chris J once again. He's been playing incredibly well recently. As you can see, picks off the head of Shoxy, but it's not going to be enough to win the round. Three on two. No kid available right now. Just to go back to the point, though, yeah, I mean, they, they looked red hot at the major and got shut down. Started Pro League. Good shot, Oscar. Hasn't been the best for them, but this event, they look back on sort of that land form. And I think this time, I, I, I mean, look, tough series. But I think I expect big things from G2 in this event. I really do. They won the Star Ladder last year. Let's not forget. Kenny S takes down Rops. Good shot as he enters immediately in from Banana. That leaves us with just Oscar. Two kills already in the round. That's where he'll end as Apex finds him. Checking Emo. one nothing for G2. There we have it. Decent attempt at the retake from our sports, considering the way the round started. Oscar with that unsilenced USP once again. Tapping off the head towards Banana, but unfortunately can't get anywhere near the bomb. Nice foot by Kenny has to get the silent USP and actually finish things off there. It will be round number two. Presumably the four spy comes in. Mouse sports, yes indeed. They'll have Deagles. A 5-7 for Ops. Scout for Oscar. And five MAC-10s for G2. I am not a fan of this buy. I assume this go fast towards B. They'll actually be focusing towards middle here. It will be Oscar to take a lot of damage from the grenades at the very start. They go very quickly indeed. This is a French style buy can cause a bit of chaos here, but as you can see, they stay as a complete fragging unit. As they run around with the SMGs. Some damage being taken now. Kenny S and Shock's been tagged up. There's the 1D coming in from Sunny. From Apex smartly holds towards the garbage position. Gets a couple of frags here. That should be the round concluded now, considering we just have one player left. Rops coming towards quad. Gets one more. There's still a slight chance this, considering there's such low HP on the A side, but he's got no kit. I don't think he'll be able to win the round. If he can save the scout, there we go. That's absolutely fine by him. So he can have scout armor going into the next round. With a helmet as well. G2, lose three players. Two of them very tagged out, but Mac 10s a cheap and cheerful round that works out. Yeah, it's going to work out. Just barely, to be fair, when you look at the... HP left for Kenny and Shocks. They'll run away with the Mac 10s, the armor, more importantly. Deagle for Kenny. On the other side, Rops keeps his armor and the scout. Double checking to make sure that Sonny, or excuse me, that Rops is not sneaking around inside of the side after the bomb went off to find a better weapon. AK picked up for body immediately. So, two to potentially come three against Mouse Sports, who will have to full save with the exception of. Rops, he saved the scout. Now he's thrown that to Oscar and he bought it 5 7. I actually didn't see if he had the 5 7 in the last round or not. I think he did. Spent... No, actually, he would have because he only spent $300. He has an aid. So that's not a buy by any means. He's still essentially full, full saving. Yes. Let's see if that scout can cause any sort of damage here. Chris J waiting to drop the HU. It's actually going to work out quite nicely. We'll get. Sunny set up there for the alley oop towards Banana. Takes down Shoxy. They won't be able to recover that rifle, but they know they funneled them towards A. You can see all the rotations coming through. Four players making their way towards the A site. We still have Rops there with the armor and the 5.7. If you can find one kill here and get this AK out of the body's hands, who's been struggling recently, that could be great, but there it is. That's the kill that secures the round, in my opinion. Shouldn't be too much trouble now. As the scout will come in and be taken down by the Julies, apparently. MBK trying to finish things off with... Two guns in his hands. Yeah, two's better than one, Henry. That's what I always say. He has Mac-10 and Julie's. That is quite the setup. He has been experimenting with all the different weapons these days. Let's see what he brings out this round. And will it be the Krieg? Does he dare? Oh, he will. In the playoffs. Oh, he will. He's talking it over. He's getting a lecture right now. He's being told. Is. And then he says, you know what? You're not my dad. I'll buy whatever I like. It's my pocket money. I've earned this. Duelies and Krieg. That is, that, that's quite a... <laughs> He's gone from purchase. Mac 10 and Julies to Krieg and Julies. What is going on? He's sticking with it. Maybe he's a little... You know, I, I honestly think this. He says it's addictive. I asked him on Twitter because yeah. I, I meant to ask him when I was at the airport with him and I forgot. We were chatting about it. Pretty much everything else except Counter-Strike. Talked a little bit about shocks, obviously. This will be one of his last two events before 
He goes into surgery. He will play an additional week of Pro League, by the way. Okay. We thought he would. They probably need it after the results they got in the Absol first week. Well, yeah, exactly. But Smiths will step in. That's so far so good. Mm -hmm. But then, anyway, I asked him on Twitter about the Creek. He said, it shoots faster than the AK. It has a better first bullet accuracy, and it's addicting. And I responded saying, why do I feel like the third part of that is all that matters? He goes, you're right. <laughs> we'll see how it works out for him in this very important round. Body to open things up towards the A side. It's a bonus round of sorts. Creek coming in, though. Smoke off towards the library might not be enough as MBK comes to life there. He'll get one, still alive for now. And Rops is the last line of defense on the A side. Takes down Kenny S. This could be enough. It's looking very good for him as MBK keeps fighting back with the aforementioned rifle. Another one comes in. It's going to be Ooh. Rops to take him down. Low HP. Got the call from his teammates. Only one player surviving, though, from our sport. So luckily, the AWP is recovered. Money for days on the G2 side. And it's going to be trying to balance the books for our sports here, the international squad. We'll have an MP7 in Chris J's hands. Sticker might be in a very similar situation. Could go for the shotgun on Inferno. Here's Rob So anchoring the pits. Great way to do so. You can see him using that silent shield SP. Just to finish off MBK in the end, knowing he was low HP. And interesting enough, G2 are taking a partial buy here. They haven't gone all in. They're just going to take CZs, a Deagle, and an MP7 for Apex. So that's quite nice to see. It's not often you'll see a French side take a little partial buy over the chance of uh, going all in. Sure, that's true. You're not a liar, Hank. Oh, Chris J. Looking to get up close and personal with the MP7 here. Tucks himself in towards the logs right now. Could be flash through the smoke if he really wants to. Sunny setting that up. Great play from Rops in the last round. On the pit, this time on the balcony. Equally served as he such shuts down body working in Toward the back of pit. Shocks tries to run and gun. Can't do it. Rops accumulating a decent tally to start things off. And it'll be Sticko to close it out. Oscar going down. Not a big deal. At least not yet. They pick up the AWP to carry it over for him. So that's all fine. A couple of rounds in a row from our sports. That's going to start establishing them on the map so far. Orps out for Oscar. Can be very powerful on this map. Aggressive Orpers seem to do very well here. Lots of options at the start of the round. Sticker, though, decent spawn. Let's see whether he wants to maybe jump towards the boiler. Nading down towards T steps. Will it do any damage? Not really. And going for a default with banana control here. It's going to be Shoxy up towards the wall. Chris J still fighting at the very top. Not off towards the logs. And Shoxy hears it thrown and strikes straight away. It's all about the sound cues there. Obviously, the incendiary makes a very distinct noise as you throw it. And knowing it takes a Second or so to pull out the weapon. Shoxi will run around the corner and take him down. Five on four. Oscar will get a shot off towards Apex, but we'll be able to find the killing blow. Down to 29 HP. Fifteen HP, but he'll still work with his teammates together to try and get onto the B site. Sonny sits on the boost. Should specify the boost, I suppose, at this point, given how popular the new box boost is. He's on the flowers. I don't understand how anyone waters those plants up there anyway, Hank. Oof. Sonny getting one. We'll drop back down immediately into the smoke. It seems perfect every time we see it. That smoke almost favors the player on drop if he's not flashed and checked. So getting away with one kill to... Even things out as they hit the site. Low HP for Apex, low HP for Body. Sunny will hold inside of Ruins and allow the rotations. That means G2 will start to establish a post plant. Kenny with the AWP. He's going to stay inside of the site. Tighter angle will hold up the rifles onto Banana. That'll clear to make sure the flank isn't effective. And they're already going to back off, it looks like, on the Mouseport side. Might be the case, actually. Sunny doesn't really want to do it. He no, like he, he had a chance to that one. Yeah, absolutely. I think they did as well. There was no utility on the T side, and they've wasted so much now they can't possibly go for it. They're trying to lock the T's in, make the, sure no one leaves alive. The, well, the problem that Sonny also has, you're right, they want to keep, they want to keep them alive. The problem that Sonny has, oh, oh, he shot. I don't know if he had a kid or not. I don't think he had the time either way. They would have heard it, but I thought he might try and get sneaky. But the problem with that is you get stuck inside of ruins. It's very hard to fall back at that point. All of his team was in CT spawn. That's quite easy. Okay, fair enough. One stuck around and get taken down by body. Once you're trapped and they're exiting and watching CT, you have to cross them. Mm. 
which is frustrating because he was set to go. You're right. He looked very reluctant. Well, two players do survive there from our sports. They did give away the AWP. There's still got plenty of money, as you can see. That formidable double orb set up. Oscar and Chris J will be deployed at this point. Round number seven. Very telling as to whether Mouse Sports can make a serious dent in this CT half. Much fan goes over. Chris J, known to be an aggressive player as well. Takes an A to the face. I mean, he's got no helmet. Not a huge deal, but just showed you where they're at financially right now. Basic banana control for G2 obtained. Still got most of the utility. Four smokes is the main point there. And Shoxi, once again, takes down Chris J. Waiting for the reaction from Sonny. He holds it towards our fountain right now. Just trying to bait out the utility at this point. Make him deploy his smoke as early as possible. But unfortunately, Sonny's got nothing left. Oscar has to rotate through. He's got a flashbang for them. Sticko and Rops left alone towards the A side. And Gito is trying to bleed out anything they possibly can here. But Oscar will go for the peak eventually. Sonny will as well. Nice work from that fountain. Takes him down and equals things out to a 4-on-4. Four four. So fountain for Sonny. Rops will go back to the graveyard, throwing out a second smoke toward the apartments. Gets one, only one. Nade lands in, and then NBK is able to take him down. It's Sickle that's going to hold off the pit, and NBK, he's got his two-time scope. He has. He's got a player in the pit to deal with, though. Sticko needs at least one here. They'll be committing to the site momentarily. Oscar there. Pushing through the smoke, taking the attention away for Sticko, who strikes, takes down MBK. Is it enough? It looks like it might be. Shoxi can't find the frag. The nade does. Oscar now waiting for the commitment as Kenny S comes down the corner. They're tagging him up. They can't find the killing blow. Five seconds remaining. They need to plant right now. Has it gone down in time? I'm not sure. Two, one. Not going to be oh there in my. time. Oscar doesn't find the kills, but he de definitely wastes enough time there. And it all falls apart for G2. So quarterfinal number three. Oof. Liquid beating SK is also a shock today. And That's phase three as well. Wasn't it? That's yeah. incredible. Out of the tournament. Two tournaments in a row that Liquid have now beat them. That last map as well, 14-1 the first half. Insane. Insane. You're insane. Yes. Well then. You said Oscar, just delaying oh. as much as possible. You need to have four seconds on the clock. Visually for it to work out. Chris J, he oh, can't no. see all of them. He'll get fully blind, though. And his body strikes back at the CZ. They maintain the man advantage, though. So the AWP is up for Kenny S. I want to see him really kick off in this best of three. Show us that he still can be the very best AWP player in the world. Oscar. Down by that bench position. Remember, we did see the battle there last time, and it does bait Shoxi in. I don't think that was by design, but it did work out quite nicely. A happy coincidence. Kenny just barely catches enough of Oscar to get the shot in with the op. He'll get smoked off at the bottom of the middle, but Bomb is there right for the taking. Rops is going to try and get very clever on all of this. Rather than hold off A, he's going to slip toward the underpass. You can see the feet. Oh, did bo uh, he spotted Body's feet for sure, for certain. So he's going to know that they're heading up toward the A side. And he's going to check. Oh, but so is Kenny. Good first kill. Does take down body. Kenny the last alive. And the rotation was immediately in play as soon as Rops made the call. And Stick goes now on the A site. Kenny's got a one versus two to try and solve. A bit of a riddle. And that they are split up. But he could actually one-up them. If he heads Arch right now, problem is 28 seconds. It's a bit of a gamble. He could have easily snuck in behind. Sticko's going to be wondering where exactly he has gone. He is going to expect that it's the Arch side, given that situation, that possibility, ah. <laughs> and a good Molotovsk. One for you, one for me. Fall off. It's 16 seconds as well. He's not going to get to the site until 8. He's got to get a kill as soon as he does. And he does that with great ease. He's so good on the A site with the AWP, Kenny. So Bomb gets planted. Now he's got the upper hand despite the HP. Because remember, it's Kenny and an AWP. He just has to hit the one shot. Sunny, though. We'll be coming from the top of middle. Remember, Kenny. Oh, very Kenny's low read HP. this. Well, the thing is, it's such a difficult shot still. And Sunny's going to opt towards the apartments. I still think Kenny S has the edge, waiting for the full commitment. He's a sound cue, some bit of information. But Sonny, he is playing this very well. Coming out of the apartments, he looks like he's almost guaranteed to win it now. I don't see a world where Kenny will be able to hit this shot. And down he goes. Sonny will be able to defuse here. No kit, though. He can't. Oh, he just about gets it. He picks one off the ground. And he'll have time to defuse with a couple of seconds to spare. My goodness. 
A lot of variables going into that one. Sunny, if he panicked even slightly there and couldn't find the kit, wouldn't have defused the bomb. But overall, Mouseboard's coming out on top once again. Four and four. G2 with enough to have a really weak buy if they really wants to, including AWP for Kenny. As you can see, he's got enough to buy exactly the orb. Not going to do it, though. Taking another partial buy here. Still very early on in the best of three. Mouseboard's looking solid now. They should be able to win this round quite easily, but it is a French team with CZs and P250s, smokes. Execution potential certainly there. Oscar looks towards T-steps. Not many players commit right to the steps. Not a very favorable angle. Ooh, timing is everything. Oscar looks away. Still gets Apex. Second sooner he might have had the underpass shot as well. Body and NBK, the two players in that position. I think it was NBK that was sliding out. I didn't quite catch the name. So stick out to fall back. They've gotten the first kill. They're comfortable as a result of it. Two SMGs speaks volumes about the situations money-wise in these rounds. But with Oscar on the AWP, all is well. He catches off Bonnie rotating in toward the arch as well. They now know with two players present in Banana, it's likely to be a split. So Sunny positions accordingly to catch off Kenny walking in from CT, knowing that he's gotten at least that far. Losing his teammate and be not the end of the world because it's just shocks left. He's just going to desperately stick. Oh, okay, fair enough. I thought he'd stick the plant for the money at this point in time. He's not going to do that. Sunny takes him down. Down he goes. Now Sports looking solid right now. Winning lots of clutches and training our frags. Fundamentals of that. And the same be said for G2, though, as they look down the barrel of another eco here. Spent a little bit too much money in the previous round. And it's going to take Desert Eagles across the board. Five of those. Shoxy, the only player to get armor. Spends an extra 650, takes his total down to 1700. What's up? Free reign of the map once again. Chicken to guide him towards the tees. Nice Kenny is there. Tries to pre-fire the shot. The timing doesn't work out for him. Not really much G2 can do with this particular setup. Remember that. Oh, okay. Shocked you blind, of course. One bullet, yep. all that's required. Oh, my God. Does it again. b site open for business. They've got to recover some rifles, some utility off the ground. They can even fake this. They can just go back towards A at this point knowing that B will be completely open and force a lot of rotations. It's up to Sticko now. They will go in towards the B site. Sticko yet to be tagged, and they certainly will know he's there. Tries to grenade to find Kenny. Does damage, but not enough to kill him. Not enough. Sticko, though, still wants in. MP9's going to run and going to get the information. He's got to find quickly and sort quickly where G2R, because... And down two men, despite having the weapon advantage. Good trades back, though. They make up for it. They make up for it what? in more than one way, because Rops finds three. Beautiful from Rops as he sprays down toward Banana. Body's got one in return. Rops is low on HP, but he's too far away to do anything about the defuse. Sticko's got a kit. If it was 10 seconds, you might have given him a shout. Four kills for Rops and a recovery from Mouse Sports. How have they managed to pull that one back? Those two one digs at the very start. Five on three. One of the most notoriously difficult sites to retake in these sort of situations. And Rops comes in, trading out frags, and it's just absolutely wonderful. Well played to Rops. Wins another clutch for them. He's been playing fantastically so far. Finds his 13th kill. Definitely top of the server at this point. Money comes back in the favor for G2. MBK back on the Krieg. Three AKs and Kenny S. AWP. Haven't seen this battle really develop against him and Oscar as of yet. The Orps haven't been a huge factor. As Kenny looks for anyone pushing around the corner here. One off deployed and oh, he moves at the wrong time there. Chris J will live to fight another day as he smokes towards T-Steps. Incendiary missed towards the logs, but the nades certainly don't. Touchdown, Kenny S will be dropped. Gone. You can see how orchestrated that was. All the smokes being deployed, the incendiary, then the double HEs. Instead of using those HEs at the very start, which are very predictable, and obviously T's will be aware of them and can either get in front of a very good spawn or just wait for the nades to come in. If you time them like that, knowing they've already tried to go for banana control, the logs area can be the perfect place to chuck them. You get maximum damage there. As you saw, Kenny S get absolutely wrecked. Five and four. G2 haven't been able to win with the advantages they've had, let alone the disadvantages, as Body does fight back, taking on one of the key players. That's Rops in the pit. Rops in the pit. Stick out in the sight to get Body back. But not NBK or Shock, so those two will converge upon the sight. Bomb planted, NBK, quick shoulder peek with knife out just to be cheeky and get away from any damage. We'll spot top mid. Molotov, he thinks, is sufficient to hold it off, but Chris goes straight through that. That caught off Shocks. Could have gotten ugly if he found the kill on Apex. 13 HP away from doing so, but G2 find round five. Yeah, I like that from Chris J. 
You could see no one was aware that was a possibility. MBK thought he contained him with the Molotov. Was it meant to be? But G2 finally posting around in what feels like a while. Down towards nice play towards the banana area. But uh, G2 making their way out of the apartment. A flashbang was good. And uh, we'll be sending Mouse Sports down to a more modest situation. As you can see, two deagles, two rifles, no kits. Oscar with the orb, but that's all he's got. Shoxi once again trying to open things up towards B. Kenny, NBK, and Apex all at alt middle will seemingly go along with that plan. Shox is going to be the one to hold off Banana. Chris is immediately on the other side of the wall. Being silent, however, until now. Be tough to spot anything. And I think Chris has a suspicion. I think he tried to bait the pin on the grenade to see if he'd come around the corner. Had the deagle at the ready. Still can't find him. Shox is being as patient as he dare. In doing this, he knows that there's at least one pushed up in Banana. Call that for his teammate, whatever relevant information that may be, because the problem is they've rotated the second player from B over toward A. There's four players there. Body flashes through the smoke, wants to go. Oscar's ready to watch quad side and catch him if he drops down. Rops, another good hold, another good transfer. Not quite a full transfer, and then he did let go of Mouse 1 to get to the other side of it, but he's accurate as ever. He goes down to Apex, but it doesn't matter. His kills are contribution. Felt for his team, and Oscar's able to take out Apex, leaving Shocks to rotate back from B. And late... As the bomb and his teammates all gone, he's got no chance to pick this up. 21 seconds, the round going to Mouse Sports. Yeah, not really much you can do here at all. They don't even have to challenge this. Uh, Sticko will contribute to the damage there. Oscar gets hit with the killing blow. I like that Sticko looked at the Krieg and went, no, I'm good. Yeah, I don't fancy that right now. And that's going to be a harsh reset for G2. The money's not terrible. Um, you've got 6k on Apex, and Kenny's got enough for an AK and armor. The other three hovering on the 2k mark. And Robs, what a great performance he's having this half. Coming close to 20 kills now. Just hit 16 there after 12 rounds. We'll get into a force by G2. This is more like it. This is what I expected from them. Everyone all in. The orbs out, one AK, three pistols. Kenny S hasn't really done anything significant in this half at all. He's been very quiet. We'll see if he can start to step up here. This is when his team needs him. Certainly so. Problem is on the T side, the AWP, we've talked about it a lot, it doesn't have an amazing amount of impact. If the CTs go very aggressive, they go hunting for kills, like Oscar looking down middle, there's opportunities. But if they're disciplined and know they're up against a player like Kenny S, you're just going to be holding back as long as possible, fending them off with the utility and not really challenging too much. You can see Kenny S looks for kills, but there's nothing presented to him whatsoever. He has to commit to a really unfavorable angle, which is this one coming up. And there's Utility holding them out once again, and they won't really have time to allow Kenny to do what he really has to here. But Apex, he could have found an opening. Rops still waiting in pit, this time broken wall. He's shifted around a few times, but most of his success has come in the same position he is wow. in now. And he's Ooh. got a headshot lineup, body down as well. Rops is crafty. Don't rule his raw skill out. He is so accurate. When he's on, and he's certainly on so far in this game. So are Mouse Sports, so is Oscar. Down goes NBK Bomb as well. And Sticko closes out Kenny. It's now 8-5 to five in favor of Mouse Sports. It's not the most one-sided scoreline that you'd expect perhaps on Inferno. Five is still great from G2's T side, but Mouse Sports are certainly in this game. And considering they lost the pistol in three rounds afterwards, Absolutely. it's pretty impressive. Yeah, G2 have not looked... Amazing here. This is this is more like it. When G2 get out of the groups, get to the playoffs, they look like a different team. They lose that flair. And now, no one's carrying for them. No one's really stepping up. And the defaults are very average. The clutches are all falling apart every single time. Can you just bring up the scoreboard for a second? Uh, I'll think about it. MBK, nine kills. No one's really like, dropped off. They're all hovering around seven to ten. But no one's like doing really well. That's a problem. Rops is stepping up tremendously for Mouse Sports. Hitting absolutely everything. They keep going towards that pit, and he finds three kills pretty much every single time. Been clutching out as well. He's in the zone right now. He's going to run number 14. I assume this is full eco. It is indeed. Deagles, PD50s, 
Kenny S doesn't purchase a single thing. As we mentioned, that round previously, Mouse Wards has completely contained him, don't give him any opportunities. He got one kill before he was traded out, and that's the way it should be going down. This should be a guaranteed round for Mouse Wards now as they look for 10-5. Body has an opening at least, but unfortunately, Rob's way toward him. Finds maybe even two here. One more bullet will do it. Can't manage to finish them off. Takes Apex down to eight, and now Oscar surely hits that shot. Pretty simple for him. And he gets the five on three. Shocksy now deadly with the Deagle, but two targets, both holding towards new box. I'm not so sure. Smoke down, Sharks. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Sharks! How incredible is this man with the Deagle? What? Second round, he's gotten two kills with it. Both spectacular fashion. As he walks in with the shot on Newbox, now Bomb's going to be thrown to him by Apex with only 8 HP. It's the only logical way to do it. Kenny will happily take care of planting that while the other two go hunting. And the AK for Shocks, with no armor, mind you, is in a great position. Chicken, don't you dare run forward beyond that glitch you're stuck in because that'll give away and reveal his position, keep in mind. There he is, the squawking bird. Almost as loud as Shocks' as Deagle this round, but we'll see if he can hold it off. Goes wide, takes the peek immediately. He's going to get taken down by Stiko. And Kenny S goes back in, same angle with the AK. And he's going to look to try and flank them out. He knows they've gone forward. He knows there's also a smoke toward Apex. That's going to be his best chance to strike. They haven't checked it. They line up, and Kenny's got both. There we go. Finally, a clutch working out for G2 there. Coming into it, two on two situation. And it was Shoxy with the Deagle that opened absolutely everything up for them. How magical was that? That Desert Eagle, I thought, even the Zedek, I thought, well, they're both in the same position. He might get one of the Deagle here. That'd be great. He gets hit by the smoke, pushes through, and I think two bullets were fired in total, and both of them dead. Second time he's done that in this half. Finally, they managed to convert it to a victory. And now they get decent money for the round. That will end the half here. Number 15, MBK back on the creek. Only seen him two kills, but I think. Still, I'm still not convinced by it. Well, either way. Oof. That's Oops. convincing from Oscar to take down Kenny. If they, sure get to eight, barrel, but. if they get to 8-7, the point is that what I was going to go with, with either way is it, doesn't, it, it ultimately doesn't matter because they've done enough that if their CT side picks up the slack, they're in great position. Going 9-6, losing pistol. Mouse Sports certainly has looked the better team. They can certainly challenge as well. Let's not discount that by any means. Pick and Rops once again. Only got the FAMAS this time. Apex finds a double. Sunny's still there, though. Looking to shut this round down. Sunny can't do it, but Oscar, maybe he can. One versus one. The hero of the previous round shocks. He makes his way towards B, getting all the information that Oscar is on. Rotating back, this time through Banana. No saving weaponry here. Last round, Oscar throws away the AWP. Shoxy in the smoke for now. Walks back towards B. Oscar comes out on top, though. Nice control with the AK-47. Thought Shoxy would win that one for sure. He's having a bit of fun here. Diffuse done. So 9-6 is where we end up. Keep in mind, that means only three gun rounds from G2. One of them not even a gun round. Let's be real. It was a deagle round from Shox. An unbelievable one. Spectacular shots, nonetheless. A shocksing round. Absolutely, that's why you're the best. That's that's one of many reasons, Henry. Yeah. That was I can't believe that that kill to me looks unbelievable. I'm not sure whether on his screen you can see a barrel sticking through or anything. Even when I watch it back, it was too fast to work out. He found that kill. Oscar, showing up in the last round there. Lovely work. Nine to six for Mouse Sports. Still anyone's game, absolutely. This is the first map of three. Our third quarterfinal of the day. As we get into it. Oscar to push Banana early on. The rest going to sit back, including the bomb actually, back toward T-Spawn. So it'll wait for a decision to be made based on calls, based on communication, based on information. Apex getting lots of that, but can't find the kill to Oof. go along with the damage onto Oscar, who then tries to go for the jump peak. Speaking of peaks, Apex goes back out for more and realizes there's company with Oscar now. NBK, I think, was tagged by the jump. It could have been Chris on the wide peak, I do say. He may have been able to spot the corner while Shocks was stuck in behind the barrels, but, or rather, excuse me, Apex was in behind the barrels, but either way, they've come out worse for wear G2. 
A great start to the pistol round for Mouse Sports. Absolutely. One HP on MBK. Rops that P250. We normally see one of these on every T pistol now since the buff and gives you extra range and it's cheaper than the Tech 9 or CZ. Maybe the team get a bit more utility shocks. He lets two of them pass, but he can't actually find the shots there. That might have been a bit of a blunder by him. Kenny S has to go big here, but it looks like it's going to fall apart. Sunny, great work there. Shoxy does get one finally through the smoke there. But MBK, one HP. No kids, no Krieg, no Julies. Just a default pistol. And he'll save the armor. Good call. It's not much, but the fact he's got 100 armor still, he has got shot cleaning the head. He can buy a helmet for three um, for three hundred fifty dollars. So it means, and they're forced by next round, he can actually maybe get something a little bit more significant. Certainly does. Great start again from our sports. Then, so both teams have won their respective T-sided pistol. Bomb to detonate. NBK. Will survive. They won't get anywhere nearby. Some G2 fans. I did say at the start of this game that Starladder won, or excuse me, Starladder won. G2 won a Starladder last year. That's actually incorrect. It was 2016 they beat Nip. Yes. It was uh, late August, if I'm not mistaken, that they beat NIP here in Kiev. It seemed like last year. Time flies. I don't remember that at all. I was probably casting it. So we were. Just blurred into we, were. One. <laughs> we had a massive timeout that lasted about an hour based on a dispute. Oh, that was when it went like, overtime in the final, right? I think so. But the dispute was very long on map two. Yeah, that was it was an epic game because it was an overtime for so long. And it was like a triple overtime or something like that to finish it off. I do remember. It's up there somewhere. And for now, a three on three. It will be Apex and Shoxy with the scouts who find at least a couple of kills here. Still at a massive disadvantage. Chris J makes his way in, trying to crack the side open. Look at the teammate, though. That will be Rops, who's on the other side of the map, and they're going in without any real teamwork here. This is a massive blunder. They've got a minute on the clock, man, and they're just going in like that without even going for Rops. Why not use the man advantage in terms of when you head towards the bomb site? It can't be all three CTs there. You can at least take the firepower, and he's given that up for absolutely no reason. That was shocking. Didn't check new boxes, both focusing towards coffins, and you make it way too easy for G2 there. Yeah, this is a big blunder. G2 can find real estate with this. Rops still looking sharp, has 40 seconds. Less a bit to try and recover the situation. Bomb down inside of the site, and MBK toward new box will have shocks rotate around to ruins. Around in ruins for Mouse Sports. Rops has been. Very good throughout, but he's going to have to be excellent now. He leads with 21 kills, by the way. Yeah. He's best in the server, Sonny. And he's got roughly the same amount of time, oh. and that's a brilliant shot there. He's making them look a little bit foolish now, the shots he's hitting. Ten seconds remaining, though. Still a lot of pressure to get that bomb down. Oh, oh he, he, okay. He's, uh, he's got to get it down now. He's going to go for the kill. Oh, oh, he's done it as well. Five seconds. I thought Shocks would play it to perfection. He takes the chance of the peak, and what a play from Rops. Baits out the master. That's going to be Shoxy taking a hook, line, and sinker. And as he goes to the fake plan there, knowing that if he goes for the full commitment, Matt, Shoxy to come out and one D game. Shoxy. If he does not, if he just got AFK at this point, he wins. But takes it, and down he goes. Rops nails the shot with the Galil. That's a three versus one. This guy is having one magnificent game here. He's going to round number 18. Full eco for G2 now. Mouse Sports might have just done enough with that round. Robs, what a game he's having. MVP for sure of this map so far. Four man stacked towards the apartments. Shots down. Robs can't find anyone toward the window. Does spot Kenny now. They're all peeking him. They're all going to pick him apart if he's not careful, but he finally lands what he's looking for. He's got more and more and more players facing him eventually, and inevitably he's going to be caught out in that. Four pistols, I think, might equal one AK. It's, yeah, I think that's fair. We'll see. Even with the fall off from that range. Well, Oscar. Just hold them off, knowing the B's going to be open. They spotted absolutely everyone. Look how low the CTs are. Might as well see if they can recover that AK, which they can. Apex picks it up. 
Bomb planted, round guaranteed. Oscar only has a good little to lose here. Apex almost certainly kills him. There's such an awkward angle. There we go. Apparently, Oscar does find him. One of his shots from Apex does some, do some significant damage, but not enough to close it out. Now, Shocks and MPK. Just default pistols to try and stay alive here. MPK is going to swing around behind them and hope for the best. Chris, I think, is uh, considered, I was going to say, ready for it. Anticipating it. Either way, he's going to get the kill. It's an SMG. It's pretty straightforward against a pistol with 6 HP. Hmm. So the pistol down. Shoxy boy will stay alive. We're going to go to guns. 12 to 6. They get all three rounds. Mouse Sports, much, or perhaps entirely, thanks to Rops. Clutching back the one versus three. Gave them not only that round, but the last as well, considering the economy. So now we get back into a G2. I said that they could get away with a somewhat lackluster half on CT. I said especially if they get to 8-7. But going to 12-6, losing that second pistol, they really have to pull up their socks. You said it. They look flat when they get to the playoffs. They certainly do. They lose to just something. I can't really put my finger on it as to what it would be. But overall, they seem like they lose firepower. The tactics seem to have changed. And they don't have that dominating effect that they do in the group stages. As we get into round number 19 here. Still a MAC-10, a Galil, and an MP7. Definitely can be classified as what we'd call a bonus round, taking over the lesser weaponry from the second round anti-eco situation. If you win this round against CTs that are forced ball in the second as well, you can find yourself in a very promising situation, considering as well you have the lead at this point. This would be a round victory and forcing them onto Eco next round. It could be leading you to 14-6. Yeah, and that, at that point, we look to the next map, which, by the way, is Mirage. Nuke if needed. Nuke if needed. Did uh, Mouse Sports pick Inferno? I've alt-tabbed and now I have to alt-tab again. Yeah. Make sure you take I... all the information before you, you get off it. L calm down. I said the three maps. Normally, you don't throw a quiz at me, all right? I didn't know I had a pop quiz today, teacher. G2 picked Inferno. There we go. So this would be huge, Mouse Sports. They can win G2's pick. That could be the series. Their, their Mirage looked excellent recently, but this might not be a round going in their favor. B Execution is shut down. Remember, it's the bonus round, so they're not going to have as much firepower. Good shutdown, though, considering, because yeah, still. the execution was solid. The distance was entirely closed by the two smokes. Even though it is a bonus round, you expect to at least get a couple of frags, a bomb down, perhaps. But uh, almost nothing achieved there by Mouse Sports and G2. You say it's bonus round. The money's not amazing for Rops. He's left it just to CZ. The rest are comfortably going to be able to buy. Yeah. Surprised there wasn't more wealth management or distribution. Oscar could have dropped out. Something a little better for poor Rops. He must have died every single round so far. That's probably accurate. He's been playing rather aggressive. Although, every round meaning the... He didn't have to reinvest to fair, on rounds yeah, he two. The, the Galil won on three. Exactly. So he, he probably dropped weapons. Exactly. Though, That's the next thing I was going to say. Is yeah. He, yeah, he won that, but he probably had to s s sacrifice himself for his team in that regard. Sure. Good nade. So, great nade. <laughs> Rops will take it on the chin. He's got to get aggressive. Body's going to play on the balcony. Two players on arch means... Body's essentially the only one on the A site currently, but the rotation does come back around from Library. That puts Shox in a crossfire position. Gray screen for Rops. Red all over the wall behind him as a result. Sunny does finally respond to get Body, but not before he got Sticko as well. So now a three versus four, and then Bomb flung forward from the balcony, landed it in the pit. They've got to cross just to get to it, and they're not ready quite so early to do so. Also comes out late from the apartment. Gives oh. him an angle on to Kenny S, and Sonny's complimented that by finding Shocks. Great shots inside. And Apex from Small Pit does at least recover, but they know that he's there. Smoked off. He's got to jump away with 14 HP and let the rest to NBK. Bomb still not recovered as of yet. Apex swinging top mid might be able to get line of sight toward the pit to see it. As Chris is going to sit tight. He doesn't want to peek on this yet. He knows the CTs need to make a move to at least get information. They don't know if that bomb is up or not. And Apex has gone toward the apartment no sooner than when they dropped out. So their backs are open, or are they? Oscar, perfect play. Turns around, knew that he was inside of the site with his back to the wall, leaves it all to MBK. I'm not sure MBK has it in him to win this one out. They know exactly where he is. He'll drop a smoke towards the pit. No one's there. They're both on the bomb side. That suggests he doesn't know as to where the T's are. Firing off some shots now. It's getting more desperate. And Mouse Sports fight back valiantly there after losing the first couple of kills as well. Working in tandem from the quad and the apartments, both landing shots towards the library and indeed the bomb side itself. Sunny 
Lovely work there, and that completely ruins G2 now, map 13-7 down. Have to take an eco or a force buy, neither of which are promising options. What do they go for? Is it just a full eco, not a single dollar invested? They take a pause at the last second there. And you can see, averaging around $3,000 per player. Less in some cases, Apex is down to $1,700. So if they bought, it'd be like UMPs, pistols, shotguns, scouts. You get the picture. But if they force by, it's unlikely they win it and then they're 14-7 down and have to eco. So do they take a full eco now and try and win it out with the gun rounds? This is the conversation they're having right now to work out the next play. Remember, G2's pick is Inferno. Lose this, there's a lot of pressure for you going into the next map. Luckily, it's Mirage. Most teams pretty comfortable on that one. That's why we see it in almost every best of three, along with Inferno. And they do not take a force by MBK gets an MP9 and armor. So he invests a lot of money into this. Shocks, he got legs as he crossed middle there. Not sure what the intention of the cross was. You've mm. got a USP, no armor, no nades. Well, you're not going to pick second middle, are you? You're not yeah, exa exactly. You're not. You don't need to be there any quicker. You can happily just go around the safe side in yeah. a site. So sunny behind the logs. Start to work with his teammates. You said it. This could become 14. Six was the score you proposed, but 14-7 yes. just as easily. Well, this is sometimes even worse way for you to find yourself here after winning the round. You weren't supposed to, and then coming back into it just to be reset. 14-7 looks like he's guaranteed his point. No CTs on the B side of the map whatsoever. Obviously, the coaches watch all these demos. I know the tendencies of these teams when they have full goes where they like to stack. You're not usually going to change that too much, but there we go. G2 went for the A bombsite approach there. We'll just have to save 5 7, a Deagle, and a CZ. That's it. Now, Sports in a great position to close this one out, but not done just yet. G2, although struggle in playoffs, they're always going to be a dangerous team, regardless of the scoreline. They'll have money next round, and that'll be the first time to see the Kenny S AWP on the CT side. Bear in mind, though, Kenny did buy armor. Has he limited himself in that respect? Body has. He'll be dropped by a sticker there, the CZ in hand. Kenny needs to survive this. Saving the armor doesn't really make things easier for himself. That's kind of uh, neutralizes the situation, the fact he has that. But still, only $3,200. Why he bought that, I don't know. Can't even get a rifle ready now. I guess he can. $3,200, could just buy an M4 and have body armor. That would be it. We'd have no nades. That's what he'll go for. His teammate drops over the AWP, so he can just get an M4 and have the shock. See, no diffuse kits, three smokes. That's pretty much all they have to work with. Shocks to the bottom of middle. Desperation. He's not been spotted, fortunately, by both players that go toward the apartment. Sticko getting the return and trade under body. Opens a right of passage toward A, and Shocks can't rotate back, especially knowing that they've lost second middle now. If for whatever reason as well, if they want to investigate Banana, if they want to push that direction, and Sticko Hello. goes back, <laughs> oh, he would be found, but Oscar's wise to it. Doesn't even have to transpire in that regard. He just spots him with the AWP. It's such an all-in position, isn't it? You can't even get information there. You're hoping they just walk past and don't even check it. No one's there to bait him in. No one's helping out. It's... A redundant position at that point. It's just hoping they make a huge error. Don't even look at it. MBK. Alone in B with an MP9. That is not an ideal situation, let me tell you. Stick a line up a smoke for the arch side here. Nothing too complicated with that one. Just to potentially pull off a rotation from the B side. It actually has forced MBK to come around the corner here. Flashbang could do something. This flashed himself, though, unfortunately. Somehow still alive. I have no idea how. 45 HP, and they'll be just going in. They're, they're, if he's that far down, it's likely that he's there by himself, and he's given up. He's only got an MP9. Let's get in there and trade. He's got a smoke and CD spawn. MPK doesn't have the ground to even really challenge this one. It's 
somehow gets a kill. I don't know how he's done that. I don't know how he's done the second one as well over the top of the coffin. Mansfield's panicking a bit there, I think. Well, they certainly try to force the issue. 38 and 39, respective HP for Sonny and Oscar. Kenny with the AWP and Apex are both unscathed, and it'll stay that way as Kenny gets just barely forward of the flames. Thrown towards CT, Apex first in. Oscar's already taken down Kenny, so he knows where he is at new box. He's more worried about how to find him without walking into Sonny, so he's desperate and hoping that Oscar's going to peek. He forces the issue. Good find on Sonny. He's going to close the distance against Oscar, what? but you don't close the distance to Oscar because he'll take your head off either way. How has he done that? I thought, well, here we go. Classic G2 come alive at the very last second. They're back in the game, winning a crazy round of MP9, of course. But no, Oscar with that PT50, I think, at the very end. One versus one. I think he just about won the round regardless because there's just no time left about the kit, but still makes them pay the price. 15-7. Double Nova shotguns. Three shotguns available. The Max 7 comes out to play as well. And two for masses. That could be it for this map. 15-7. As we go into round number 23. Wall bank from Sticko. That's all the way from the bench, I think. Uh, from the bridge, I think. Pump shotgun it was. says it all. So Sticko with the first kill. You might as well count it down. Double pump. Swag seven. Famas. And desperate that they go to Ward A. Wishful. They might get a few here in the apartments, you know. But the bomb over toward Banana. First in. Rob says trade potential with him. They spot. Shocks hits. Shots gets hit too. So the... Desperation pays off ever so slightly, but NBK over committing toward Banana is going to give them the entire B site. They won't quite know it yet, but they'll figure it out, I'm sure, as they start to work in, knowing that aggressively inside of Boiler suggests, as well, well with shotguns, that they're going to be playing closer angles, most likely over toward A. Get it in, get it down, hold them off, win the round, win the game. Seems simple in theory, doesn't it, Henry? It does. We'll AK's see. picked up. Do they have the time to work with? Oscar seems to think not. As he takes down another one, that should be the Ooh. round. Oscar, a rare miss there, makes up for it, of course. And that should be a first map going in favor of Mouse Sports here. Nothing Apex can do about it, ladies and gentlemen. Mouse Sports didn't play the perfect game there, but Rops in the first half certainly did. What an